Hey, it's Rebecca from Pack Hacker here, and in this review, we're going to be taking a look at the Bjarraven Split Pack, a 35 litre bag that can be carried as a backpack and a duffel. Here at Pack Hacker, we do reviews on bags and travel gear just like this all the time, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. We've been testing this bag for over a month now, and it's even seen a 10 day trip to Portugal, so let's jump into the review. With its clean lines and streamlined design, we think that the sleek Scandinavian style of the Fjallraven split pack is pretty easy on the eye. However, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so we polled our Instagram audience about the look of this pack, and here are the results. And if you want to take part in these polls, make sure you're following at Packhacker on Instagram. The branding on this pack is minimal and strategically placed. The most noticeable is Fjallraven's Arctic Fox logo on the side. Additionally, there is that same logo etched onto the snap fasteners and clamshell zipper pulls. Fjallraven do have one of the slickest logos in the game though, so we can't blame them for wanting to use it. Next, there is a Fjallraven name on the shoulder strap buckles and finally, a Swedish flag tab on the back. Now, this does sound like a lot, but they are small and you do really have to look for them to find them. The split pack is available in six colours. Black, dark olive, deep blue, green, navy and redwood. We're really digging these subdued, earthy tones and we were impressed with how well the dark olive fits into urban and rural environments. Now moving on to the materials. This pack is made of G1000 Heavy Duty Eco, Fjallraven's unique canvas blend of 65% polyester and 35% cotton. We dove deep into that material when we did the review of the Fjallraven travel pack. So if, like us, you're crazy about that kind of thing, make sure you check out that video for more. In short, all you need to know is that it's a durable, weather-resistant material that's performed well for us in testing. Now onto the zippers, which are all YKK. The clamshell zip is a strong and durable number 10, while all the others are number 5. It's essential to have reliable zips on a clamshell bag, because if the main zipper was to break, it would render the whole bag unusable. Thankfully, Fjallraven has you covered in this area. All of the zippers are reverse coil too, where the coil sits on the inside and the fabric on the outside. It's only a small thing, but it will stop dirt and grime getting on the coil. And we think they look pretty good too. And finally, the split pack features metal zipper pulls, buckles and snap fasteners. We appreciate Fjallraven's decision here to opt for metal over plastic. It's much more durable and it also gives the bag that premium feel. Moving into the external components, the Fjallraven split pack doesn't have much of a harness system. There is no hip belt, no load lifters and no sternum strap. There is just a pair of basic shoulder straps. Some bags can provide a comfortable carry without these additional elements, but unfortunately, this isn't the case for the split pack. Without external features to secure this bag onto your frame, it just droops off your back, making even a medium load uncomfortable to carry. The shoulder straps and back panel are padded though, but that's where the pros end. It's pretty bleak. At this point, you're probably thinking if the backpack style carry isn't great, then surely the duffel style carry will make up for it. Unfortunately, you'd be mistaken. Fjallraven has tried to kill two birds with one stone here, but they threw it like 50 cent through his first pitch at the Mets game. Not great. The shoulder straps transition into duffel handles by pulling the straps as far as they will go through the buckle and then securing the snap fasteners. The issue is though, while you can carry these as duffel straps, they are still just shoulder straps. They don't fit comfortably in your hands and when the bag is full, it can be hard to hold the straps together. Other than the duffel shoulder straps, there are grab handles on either end of the bag. They come in handy for lifting the pack into overhead storage on planes and trains, but not much else. And we think that an additional grab handle either on the back or the side of this bag would vastly improve the carry options. There are two pockets on either side of this bag and they're an excellent size for those typical quick grab items, like a passport, wallet or phone. We were even able to fit an Amazon Kindle in them too. Just be aware though that these pockets do lack depth, 
so if you're going to have your bag at full capacity they can be a bit tricky to access. It's also important to note that this pack does not have a water bottle pocket. The severity of this will depend on you and your use case but for us it's a pretty big con. For those of you that emphasize security you'll be pleased to hear that both the exterior pockets and clamshell zippers sit against your back making it almost impossible for a thief to gain access when you're wearing it. Now, thanks to the clamshell design, the main compartment opens all the way up, just like a traditional suitcase. The big YKK number 10 clamshell zip features a large metal zipper pull for easy pulling. And there are also holes that you can pop a padlock through to secure the zips together. Now, moving inside the pack, you will find two equally sized compartments with mesh dividers. The right hand side features a couple of internal zippered pockets that are useful for storing those smaller items inside. While the left hand side compartment lacks any internal organisation, it does have a thin zippered compartment on top, perfect for flatter items like a notepad and travel documents. Because the Fjall rather than split pack divides its compartments left to right instead of front to back, you have to be mindful about where you pack your heavy gear. It can be a bit tricky at times and the carry can become lopsided if one side is heavier than the other. Now, at this point in most travel backpack reviews, we'd be talking about the laptop compartment, but we won't be doing that in this one because the Fjall oven split pack doesn't have one. This is a must have feature for most digital nomads, but it may not be an issue if you're looking for a pack to take with you on those short city breaks. It's up to you and your use case. We did find that you can fit a 13 inch laptop within the thin mesh sleeve on top of the left hand side compartment, but it's less than ideal. We've been testing the Fjall Raven split pack for over a month now, and during that time it's seen use as a one bag travel pack on a 10 day trip to Portugal. And just like the other Fjall Raven packs we reviewed, the craftsmanship is impeccable and the quality materials such as the G1000 fabric, metal components and YKK zippers assure us that this bag is built to last. And after one month of use, this bag still looks as good as new. We did find that the G1000 material on the Fjall Robin travel pack marked easily, but we're pleased to say that this wasn't the case on the split pack. Though, like the travel pack, it did attract a fair amount of fluff, but we are being extra nitpicky here. Now, the concept of this pack had us very excited over here at Pack Hacker, but unfortunately, it failed to deliver. Both the backpack and duffel style carry were uncomfortable and we were left questioning just who this bag would work for. The lack of a laptop compartment makes it inadequate for digital nomads and the lack of a water bottle pocket and the poor harness system makes it impractical for adventurous travellers. We did find some success using this pack as a gym bag, but we expected so much more. Now moving on to the pros and cons. It's available in a great range of colours. Durable materials and components are used throughout and the discreet branding that's strategically placed around the pack is a nice touch. Now the cons. There is no laptop compartment, it lacks a water bottle pocket and it doesn't provide a comfortable carry as either a backpack or a duffel. With its minimal aesthetic and interesting design concept, we had high hopes for the Fjall Robin split pack. Unfortunately, it fell short in both practicality and comfort. If you're looking for a gym or weekend bag, this pack may work for you, but it's missing too many key features to be considered for serious travelers and digital nomads. Thanks for taking a look at our review of the Fjall Oven split pack. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this pack. And as ever, head over to packhacker.com forward slash newsletter, sign up to our newsletter and never miss an update. Thanks for checking this one out. We'll see you in the next video. The bag is unusual. Unusual. <laughs> and urban environments. <laughs> oh, so close. The clam cell. <laughs> clam cell.